Uh, the surface integral of vector field is derived derived from the flux uh, from the flux across or through a surface. Uh, now let's consider the flux uh, across a surface. Suppose uh, there is there is incom incompressible fluid flow uh, flow across the surface S. The velocity is f. The vector of f is the, uh, independent independent of, independent of time, but uh, dependent on the dependent on the coordinates or uh, location. Um, how um, how much is uh, uh, the fluid uh, flow across the surface in in a unit term uh, in a unit time? The the the, the velocity is depends on the uh, and depends on the location. So we consider the small part of the surface. We call this part as the this part has the air delta S i, and we consider the flux we call delta uh, the flux called phi. Then the delta phi i at this at this uh, across this small part of the surface in a unit in a unit time is like this. So we consider the the volume of this part is actually the 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 base area times the height, but the height actually is uh, this part is this part. This part actually is, is the projection of f onto the n. So the delta phi i is actually the f i uh, dot n i times delta s i. The i is uh, on the point. Maybe we can cho and choose uh, any any point in the small area in the small part. Now the the total flux is the summation of delta phi i and approximate by the summation of i from 1 to n f i dot n i the n the n should be the unit vector times delta s i then let delta s tends to zero that is delta s is a max area of all delta s i, the max max area of the of all delta s i. Then we get the uh, the precise value of phi, that is limit delta s approaches to zero and the summation i from one to n f i dot n i dot times delta s i. Now there is limit and summation. We can write as the limit and the summation as a symbol, as the integral symbol that is on the s f dot n times ds. So that's the definition. That's the definition. This and uh, that's the definition of surface integral of vector field. That is actually the Riemann summation, the limit li, limit of the Riemann summation. So, um, I from one to n, f i dot n dot n i dot times delta s i. That's the definition of an surface integral of vector fields. 
So that's the definition. Then the next uh, problem is how to compute or evaluate the surface integral. Because we know that um, that for Because of that, for the uh, expression of S depends on uh, there's many forms of expression for S. If the S is expressed as a graph, Z equals F X of Y, where X of Y belongs to some uh, plane area, then we know that ds, that is square root 1 plus fx square plus fy square dx dy and n is always positive or negative fx, negative fx, negative fy and 1. So the surface integral f dot n ds can be evaluated use the double integral the f dot negative fx negative fy and 1 dx dy this is upward oh that's over square root 1 plus fx square plus fy square and uh, so we add uh, uh, one more step add one more step then n ds that is uh, positive or negative fx negative fx, negative fy and 1 over square root 1 plus fx square plus fy square but I can write here that's over square root 1 plus fx square plus fy square but ds is square root 1 plus fx square plus fy square and dx dy so the n ds should equals positive or negative uh, ne negative fx negative fy and 1 dx uh, right here times dx dy so the flex integral f dot n ds equals integral of oh, that's double integral f dot negative fx negative fy and 1 dx dy this is upward for well, upward because the z component is positive if it's downward then we can write as f dot that's fx fy and negative one dx dy that's downward that's downward and similarly we have semi similarly if s is uh, by y equals g x z or y uh, x x equals h y z then n should be equals pos uh, n d s positive or negative uh, g x 1 and g y uh, g z 
dz dx dz it depends on for, uh, uh, rightward or rightward or leftward it's uh, we, we we already already stated uh, this part uh, in the previous video then nds uh, positive or negative h uh, that's one for x that's one h y h z negative uh, that's negative d y d z as forward or backward the second the second form that is if s is uh, x, um, is re uh, determined by uh, a parametric equation r equals r u v then n d s then n actually is r u cross r v divided by its length r u cross r v so r but d s is r u the length of r u cross r v d u d v so n d s that is uh, that's positive or negative positive or negative r u cross r v d u d v uh, the positive or negative sign is depends on the or orientation of the of the surface and the fourth one that is if f s is a level surface it's level surface then we know that the n that is gradient f over its length uh, ds is its length and d uh, its length and and we write as da so n d s is actually gradient f and d a so the value is positive or negative the surface integral f dot n d s that is actually is d uh, depends on a projection to which to which plane that is f dot gradient f a small f but we maybe we can write it as as g because that because there's another f Okay, now we can use those formula to compute some examples. The first example is evaluate. Maybe we use the first use word problem. Uh, find the flux of f equals y i minus x g uh, plus 4 k upward through s where s is a part Of the surface 
uh, z equals 1 minus x square minus y square main in the first octant. So first we draw the graph. It's a revolution surface. Uh, the the the, uh, the line, the generated line is or z, uh, z equals one minus x square, or z equals y x minus y square. This z equals one minus uh, one minus x square, z minus y square, and revolution. Draw this dashed lines inside. Okay, that's the that's the surface. It's upward. So it's upward. So the z-axis is positive, and the surface is given by a graph. So uh, the s is z equals one minus x square minus y square so nds that is negative fx negative fy and 1 dx dy Man, uh, fx is negative 2x so that is uh, positive 2x positive 2y and 1 dx dy so the flux that is integral s f dot n ds that is actually on the d here d should equals x should x y and x square plus y square less or equal to one and x greater than zero y greater than zero. And f that is y negative x four and dot two x two y and one dx dy so uh, after we have the dot product, evaluated the dot product, 2xy minus 2xy plus 4 dx dy, so that is 4 dx dy. So the integral is, is 1, integrand is 1. The integ uh, integration for one that is actually the uh, actually the the area of this uh, of this region. So that that's uh, one fourth uh, disk, one fourth disk. The region is one fourth disk. So that is one over four pi times r square. The so r is one. So that is pi. The surface. This example of the surface is expressed by a graph. And let's see, uh, let's see the second example. Uh, evaluate. Surface integral f dot n ds where f equals 2x over x square plus y square 2y over x square plus y square and 1. Uh, S 
as defined by the parametric equation r equals r u v that is u cosine v u sine v and u square where u greater than 0 less than 1 v greater than 0 less than 2 pi uh, oriented oriented upward uh, downward upward maybe it's too easy the solution is now we know that s is uh, x uh, is determined by a parametric surface uh, parametric equation or s is a parametric uh, surface so the uh, normal vector should use ru cross rv so ru it calls uh, cosine v, sine v, and 2u. Rv, that is negative u, sine v, u, cosine v, and 0. So Ru cross Rv, that is i, j, K, R U and cosine V, sine V and two U. R V is negative U, sine V and U, cosine V zero. And compute this determinant for I that is negative two U square cosine V I for J is uh, negative 2u square sine v j for k that is u cosine v square plus u sine v square and k so that's uh, negative 2u square cosine v negative 2u square sine v and uh, here cosine v square plus sine v square that is 1 so that is u but u greater or equal to 0 r u cross r v so the 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 z component is positive because u is greater or equal to 0 so R U cross R V is upward. So we need to reverse direction of R U cross R V. So N D S is negative R U cross R V times D U D V because it's downward. So that is 2u square cosine v, 2u square sine v, and negative u, du, dv. And hence the surface integral f dot n ds. The s, the s. And uh, the, the region uh, the region was well, too big. Okay, the region is u uh, greater than zero, less than one. And the v is greater than zero, less than two pi. So for u is uh, zero to one, v is zero to two pi, and uh, f is two x over x square plus y square. Two x that is two u cosine v. X square. X square plus y square that is u square. 
uh, this u square y is to uh, the u sine v over u square and uh, the z component is 1 and cross 2u square cosine v 2u square sine v and negative u du dv takes a pro, uh, dot product so u square u square so that is 4u uh, 4u cosine v square plus 4u sine v square and then negative u du dv this is 4u the first two terms is actually 4u so that is 3u 3u dv du let's use dv let's dv du we uh, integrate integrate the v first so that's dv du uh, there's no v here so integration for v that is 2 pi and then for u that is 3 over 2 u square from 0 to 1 so that is 3 mm, 2 that's 3 pi that's 3 pi okay that's the uh, parametric surfaces a parametric surface example of parametric surface now we uh, uh, now we consider the closed or closed surface evaluate uh, the surface integral f dot dot n ds where f is y x c and s is the boundary of solid region enclosed by uh, two surfaces c equals 1 minus x square minus y square and c equals 0 oriented upward and uh, oriented outward Okay, now first we uh, draw the graph. Uh, one minus x square minus one minus one minus x square minus y square. That is that is x is. Axis, and if we call the upper and the, the upper surface x one, the 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 lower surface x two, so it's outward. So for s one, as the long vector po uh, uh, point towards up, and for s two, as point to uh, towards down. The negative uh, z axis. So it's because the the uh, surface is closed closed surface. Sometimes we uh, draw a circle here. Uh, 
is closed. And that means it's closed. This is actually the S1. The integration on S1 plus integration on S2. But on S1, see that is 1 minus x square minus y square and x and x x square plus y square is less or equal to 1 because the, uh, the, the projection is this way as x square plus y square let's say equal to 1. <clears throat> so the NDS we will we will already have this part um, for uh, at the first example that is two x two y and one uh, times uh, that's d x d y so. On S1, F dot N DS, that is X square plus Y square less or equal to 1, and F, that is Y, X, Z, uh, dot product, 2X, 2Y, and 1, DX, DY, takes dot product, that is x squared plus y squared less or equal to 1. That's 2xy plus 2xy plus z. dx dy. But, but we need to change z as an expression, as an expression of x and y. That is x squared plus y squared less or equal to 1. That is 4xy z. That is 1 minus x square minus y square and then dx dy because the region or the domain is the disk. So we use polar coordinates. Use polar coordinates. The polar coordinates. So that is, the region is from 0 to 2 pi theta from 0 to 2 pi and uh, rho is from 0 to 1 and x equals rho cosine theta y equals rho sine theta so that is 4 rho square cosine theta sine theta uh, plus 1 x y plus y is, uh, x, x square plus y square that is rho square and dx dy is rho d rho d theta. Integrating for integration for rho first. Mm, that's a rho cube. So that is rho of four sine theta, cosine theta, and four. That's two rho. Oh, that's uh, one half row plus one half row and row square times row that's row cube so that minus one fourth row um, of four from zero to one then d theta that is from zero to two pi that's sine theta that's one half minus one fourth plus one fourth. Then d theta of the sine theta cosine theta. Sine theta times cosine theta plus one fourth d theta. That is one theta over four. Sine theta cosine theta. We use u substitution. Let theta equals u. So cosine theta d theta is du. That's plus one half sine theta square and theta from zero to two pi. 
So that is pi over 2. And on S2, that is Z equals 0. And downward. So the N the n should equals because it's plane it's z equals plane that's x y plane x y plane has long vector 0 0 1 and downward that is 0 0 negative 1 and it's all it's already a, a unit vector but uh, the n the ds that is actor dx dy so n ds that is uh, 0 0 negative 1 dx dy so on the second surface the s2 the f dot n ds is actually and the domain is the same x square plus y square that's equal to 1 y x c that's f n d s that is zero zero negative one d x d y d y d n that that's doesn't matter that is x square plus y square less or equal to one as negative c d x d y that is negative uh, x square plus y square that's so equal to 1 x square plus y square uh, we take the negative sign and then dx dy and use polar coordinates again use polar coordinates again so that is 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 that's rho square minus 1 dx dy is rho dx dy that is rho d rho and d theta 0 to 2 pi that's uh, rho square rho cube that's 1 over rho 4 rho 4 minus 1 half rho and from 0 to 1 that is a negative negative one fourth and then times theta theta is from zero to two pi so that is a negative pi over two so the surface integral on the s that is on s1 plus on s2 f dot n ds that is pi over 2 minus pi over 2 that is e that is 0 that is uh, the example for the closed for closed uh, surface we have to de uh, divide the whole sur surface in um, in several parts and evaluate I evaluated the surface integral in uh, on every part and add together.